Historically, why aren't there any successful matriarchal societies? There's a theory about this. There are anthropologists who believe that prehistoric hunter-gatherer groups used to be mostly matriarchal, because children were the only way to really scale your power and your assets. Because the children belonged to the woman, all routes to power more or less flowed through her. She got to choose her partner. When human learned to tame animals and raise crops, they were able to leverage those techniques to accumulate assets with less manpower. It still required a lot of manpower, but less than hunting, gathering. When men's ability to accumulate assets wasn't directly connected with children, then women began competing for the men with the most assets. And, according to the theory, history has progressed more or less along those lines. Elephants. Checkmate. The Iroquois of the northeastern U.S. were a hugely successful Native American tribe and were a flourishing matriarchal society. They were a band of six tribes who valued matrilineal descent and women played a large role in decision-making for the entire tribe. Not to mention their territory spanned both northeastern U.S. and southeastern Canada, too. They are purported to have invented lacrosse. The sport. The only real reason why they sunk is just like every other story involving colonialism. Even then they have maintained quite a bit of their culture and were pretty good at adapting to the times. The indigenous community I work in was matriarchal and matrilineal. Since colonization it's become patriarchal but as the women are running the show more and more the community has been becoming healthier. There have been. It's just been a few 1000 years. They just lost wars and died out. All great empires fall. Case in point Rome. There were tons of successful matriarchal societies. A quick Google search will tell you this. Where the hell are you getting your information from? There were quite a few actually, but then Europe happened. Hyenas would like a word. What? You mean like Victoria enslaving half the world to expand her drug empire? Because every time the Europeans found one, they killed everyone with their guns and burned their history. I would argue that there has been many throughout history and we assume they are patriarchal due to the face being a man. But history has taught us a quote that seems to be very true when you read personal journals of leaders and their wives. That quote goes, behind every great man, there's a great woman. You mean like the Masuo? There have been but they've lost wars and aren't around anymore, kinda. Not due to being matriarchal, but to to not having access to good iron mines for a few hundred years to advance their warfare. Tech or to have weak sparring match wars with neighboring countries to gain power before launching. Full-scale invasions of further away countries to colonize. In certain countries, on specific social strata, they are very matriarchal. I wanna say some eastern countries and stuff like Pakistan. Correct me if I'm wrong. There are, it just isn't as common. Palau is an example. GIF I'll say that this is two things lifestyle and interpersonal relationships. Hunter-gatherer societies were often matriarchal I believe most of the member states of the Iroquois Federation were. Although I'm going off memory. The key to survival is knowing where to be and when the tendency of women to think more along the lines of the big picture meant they knew this stuff. Conflict with other groups could be remediated by moving away sometimes. Men were in charge of fighting wars. But not starting them. Men are more inclined to. And better at. Physical violence. Upper body strength. Tendency towards very focused thinking. And all that. A settled agricultural lifestyle depends on violence. If someone has a farm. They are tied to the land it doesn't move. 
meaning they better be able to defend it or they will starve to death. The more land you control, the stronger you are so someone's always after the farm. These farmers get together to trade, and the market area becomes a town, a city. As a source of concentrated wealth, the city needs walls, and a dedicated group of violence specialists. A man who is personally the most capable at violence, as well as sufficiently charismatic, ends up making most of the decisions. We call them kings, emperors, whatever. But old words for that translate directly to strong man. He might not always be correct, but he is always right. Because if he decides to enforce his rights, it will be with violence. Might, as they say, makes right. A matriarchal society might be hugely successful, but men by and large never let that happen. Not being the one in control squicks us right out. We're taught that strength and dominance are always the way. Individual female leaders have been successful many times. Pharos and pirate queens and regular queens. But the boys must view that as an exception. Because they are psychologically too fragile to do anything else. In Russia some husbands are alcoholics. Wives tend to take away their salaries. So they can't spend it on booze. That's pretty matriarchal. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.